that's it. There's nothing for me to say, Lord. You see it as well as I. What did I do wrong? Why put it that way? They're beautiful. They help each other. And they praise you every few minutes. Lucifer, they don't multiply. You need to give them a few more years? Yeah, but there's no evidence of that. Look at them. The perfect middle of a moonlit night. And they're playing handball. You wanted them innocent. Yeah, but every once in a while, though, he doesn't seem to get aroused. Aroused? Yes. It doesn't help if he doesn't get it in the right place. And when he does, <laughs> she goes off to pick a flower or something. I don't know how to fix that. Of course, you could always. What? I don't want to mix in and have you saying criticizing everything. I don't know why I stand for your superliciousness. At least I don't bore you like the rest of these spirits. Yeah, well, sometimes I might as well you did. What do you have in mind? Now remember, you asked me. Lucifer, what do you have in mind? You see, you're mad already. I'm not mad! All right, <laughs> all right. You could take her and restring her insides, so that no matter where he puts it in, it connects to the egg. No, no, no. She's perfect the way she is. I don't want to mess with any of that. It's out of the question. Well then, Lord, you only have one other choice. You have to thin out the innocence down there. You see? You're giving me that look again. Everything I say, you turn into some sort Lucifer, of plot. Lucifer! Look, he's putting his arm around her. Look! Where does he get these crazy ideas? And now he's going to sleep. Oh, dear, dear, dear. Lord, the problem there is that. You made everything down there so perfect. The sun is good. The moon is good. Lines are good. Leaves are good. Athlete's foot is good. You've made everything just as good as the next. Naturally, because you created it. But everything is just so perfect. And what's <laughs> wrong with perfection? Other than the fact that you can't stand it. Well, simply and stay there long enough, you have to make that part better. I'm not remaking that woman. It's not necessary. All I'm saying is that sex just has to be not just good, but terrific. <laughs> you have to rivet his attention at that one place. And how do I do that? <laughs> well, let's look at it. What's the one thing that makes him stop whatever he's doing and pay strict attention? What? You, Lord. As soon as you appear, he, so to speak, comes around. Give sex that same sort of holiness in his mind, a hope that is never truly discouraged and yet never truly fulfilled, and you're in. Make him feel towards sex as he does towards you. And how do I do that? Well, there's no way to avoid it. I'm simply going to have to talk about those apples. Lucifer! I refuse to believe that a man's only way to show his love for his God is to not eat some sort of fruit. Really? Now? Lord, I am of no use to you if I don't speak my mind. May I tell you why I think you planted that tree in the garden? You wanted Adam's praise for everything. Why then plant a tree that would make him wise, sophisticated, and analytical? May I continue? He will certainly, you know, begin to question everything. But why is that necessarily bad? He'll not only marvel flower that blooms, but he'll discover chlorophyll and praise you for chlorophyll. He may lose his innocence, but once he knows that, he has every reason to praise you. That is why, quite consciously without knowing it, you planted that tree there. In six words, Lord, you wanted credit for everything. They must never eat those apples. Why then have you tempted him? Don't think that I'm not in conflict about this, okay? I planted that tree there because I wanted him to wake up every morning and say, for God's sake, I will never eat those apples. Not even one. Fine. But with the same absence of curiosity, he is not investigating Eve. And the other animals manage? They go into heat and the balloon goes up. <laughs> Adam and Eve are almost always ready. And that means never ready. It's part of that dreadful uniformity down there? They're my children. I do not want them to know evil. Why call it evil? One apple and he'll know the difference between good and better. Think about it. 
He eats one apple, and he'll be all over her. Look, that damn fool is kissing a tree. He has no means of discriminating. Yeah, well, he should be kissing trees, too. Fine. You have Eve and Adam, and it'll be a thousand years before your grandfather. Think it over. I'd be happy to go down and... I'm only trying to help. <laughs> Don't go down there acting like you're doing me some sort of favor, okay? I know perfectly well why I planted that tree there. Really? Yes, really, friend. It was not to tempt Adam, but it was I who was tempted. After I created him, he was beautiful. And I saw his beauty, and I was so tempted to show him my work. I thought maybe, just maybe, I would let him see through the rose petal, the chemistry, the formation of amino acids to the secret of life. His simple praise for surfaces made me so tempted to show him the art of my work, which would raise him to God. Why did you change your mind then? Because I thought of what became of you, the one angel who really understood biology and physics, the one <laughs> angel who I had loved before all the rest, the one angel I had took such care to teach, and now look at you. You can't take a breath without trying to overthrow me and take over the universe. Lord, I only wanted them to know more. The more to praise you. The more they know, the less they need me, Lucifer. And you know that perfectly well. All you're trying to do is grind away their respect for me. I swear, give them an apple. If it wasn't for the law of conservation of energy, I'd destroy you. They're my children. Do not go down there, okay? Do not in any form. Don't go near them. Don't go near that tree. Innocent they are, and innocent they remain to the day I shut all the lights forever! Now what is he really saying? He put it there to tempt himself. But then he's not to be one blind about innocence. And innocence is what blinds Adam to half his glories. I will help the Lord. Yes, that's the only way to put it. I'm his helper. I disobey what he says area what he means. And if that's evil, then so be it. Strange. I've never felt so close to my creator before. But no matter. Adam eats, and he and Eve multiply in blessed sin. Make way, dumb stars. <laughs>